Oh, good, I'm just on this place. In the unknown place. Area 51. Hurry the balls up. Going then, you son of a bitch. Ooh, the spotlight. Oh, maybe I can go this way. Oh no, bad idea. Wah! There we go. Better wait for Lucas. Come on then. Why didn't I choose to be the bad guy? I'm such an idiot. Ah! Uh, <gasps> God, I'm so close. Oh, come on, man. Now what? We jump him. The only way to get to the hangar without being seen is to climb up the telephone pole and hang off of the cable. <laughs> That's <laughs> not dangerous. The pole is right under the guard's nose. I know, but there's no other way. Use your super jumpingness. I'm gonna try to get him to look the other way. Meanwhile, you run and climb up the pole. I'll try to set it up so you have enough time. Okay, but how are you gonna get in? I'll meet you back at the house. You tell me everything when you get back. At least that way we'll know for sure whether there's a flying saucer in that hangar. A flying saucer in the hangar, right? Eh? Right. Well then. <sighs> Try and disable. It's all up to you, Lucas. Huzzah! I get another climbing mini game. Hey, what do you think you're doing there? I'm looking for my cat, sir. He ran out of the house. He was on the garbage, but then he got away before I could grab him. You're one of the cane boys, right? Head on home, son. You shouldn't be out prowling around alone at this hour. <laughs> what about my cat, sir? <laughs> that is we'll the single best bit of animation I've right ever now, seen in my time. Back home. Weirdo. Oh, he's only told me I was supposed to avoid these searchlights, so I'll wait for this one. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. You see, he can slide down a pole when he was little, and he can't slide down a pole when he's like 40 years older or how old he is, I don't know. <gasps> More searchlights. Uh. Oh, I guess this is the mysterious hangar that I couldn't go in. Oh, okay, the spotlights don't do fuck all. <laughs> I've been avoiding them all this time! They don't do anything! Go faster, you little shit! Don't move or I'll shoot! Oh, that spotlight does what something! What are you doing out here at this hour? It's a shit game. Seriously? So that spotlight does nothing, and that spotlight immediately sees you. Oh, this is me, or did it just get a hell of a lot lighter in this place? <laughs> it's moving a million miles an hour! Go on, run. Run with your little legs! How much is this a convenient place to open the door? Okay, it's not open. In fact, it's almost bomb-proof. Oh, but luckily you don't need an access code or anything. You just need the strength of a four-year-old boy. Uh, oh, I don't like this music. There's nothing this way. Oh, 
world's quickest lift. <gasps> he is dead, my lords. What? Good. We don't Very get to good. see! Now you must find oh. the indigo child as soon as possible. There isn't much time. Oh, the, the visions are becoming one. clearer and clearer. I've nearly got a position local. I don't get to see what no, was in the hangar after all shot. of that. The child must not escape us. The prophecy must be fulfilled. You may leave us. Something tells me I was going to have to do both those bits anyway, so... When I got the call, oh. I didn't hesitate for one second. I came Minus without telling anybody. Not even tired. All I knew was that I was supposed to go to the grave of somebody who'd just been buried that morning. Tiffany Harper. Lucas <gasps> Kane's ex-girlfriend. What? Holy fuck. I didn't even sleep with her. Well, this is like Lucas Kane's someone else's grave or something. Um, I guess it's over there, but... Look. Oh, that's nice. She was a good person. She didn't have anything to do with all of this. Uh, wary. You didn't come here to arrest me. You know that I'm not the one responsible for all of those murders. What happened to your hair oh, and yeah? your face and And what everything? makes you say that? I hear your thoughts. I know that this case has disturbed you enough to make you oh, listen God. to what I have to say. It's weird. No steam comes out of his mouth when he talks, like his breath was already cold. Hmm. Well then, Maybe because he's who dead. is the real killer? I don't know his name. I don't even know if there's anyone alive who does. This is weird, all Gabe! That What's going on? Is that he's a Mayan oracle, who has the power to erase all memory of his existence from anyone who sees him. Why? Why does he want to kill all of these people? He's using the ritual to find a little girl. Why his hair? Child. Why did his hair go from black to blot indigo? Indigo child. Let's go with the indigo why child. Does he want I don't know what the oracle is. I'm not sure. All I know is why has his hair gone from black to hat to, to blonde to hat to black and grey? The oracle isn't acting alone, is he? He belongs to a secret clan who have united the most powerful beings on Earth. Their power has no limit. And they'll do anything to get the indigo child. You I guess this is why it's called the, the indigo clan? prophecy in You already know America. about them? I went to see one the of the murderers clan. in an asylum. He talked about the orange clan. Ooh. Oh, this is well. just unbelievable. But his story is consistent. It seems to fit with what I already know. He looks so awesome, I'm sorry. Apartment Lucas, Lucas Victims Roots. Let's go, Lucas Victims. What about all of these dead people around you, Lucas? What happened to Tiffany? And that old woman, Agatha? The Oracle wanted to eliminate me. I had become an inconvenience to him. He wanted to keep Agatha from talking, and he used Tiffany to draw me into a trap. <sighs> Great. All of these deaths, he talks about them with no emotion, as if nothing mattered to him anymore. Other murders, Lucas Fruits. Let's go with L Lucas. And you? What's your role in all of this? I was just a random victim of the Oracle. Nothing more. And I had a really, really terrible steak at that diner. Uh, Fruits. How did you learn all of this? I just know, that's all. The question isn't whether what I'm saying is true or not. The question is, are you going to help me? You're damn right I'm going to help you. But let's ask me. Why are you telling me all of this? 
because, because you're you the, the only investigation who knows that what I'm saying is true. And even if you're right, what can we do about it? Nobody's gonna believe all you're this. You're gonna stab some people up. And if the Oracle really has all these powers, what can we do to stop him? Find the Indigo Child before he does, and so hide her in the house. place safe. Do you know where she is? Slytherin House. Not yet, but I'll find her. Oh, you won't. I see through the eyes of the Oracle during his visions. If he sees her, I'll see her. Oh, this is just insane. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting here talking about saving the world with a fugitive wanted by every police department in the country. You're free yeah, to choose which side about you're it. on. You can arrest me, or you can trust me and help me save the child. I'm gonna trust him and help but you him because... you must decide quickly. I haven't got much time. Woo. What am I supposed to do? If you're <laughs> I'm well depressed. Go to prison. She's got like happy eyes and really depressed. Oh no, she's just angry now. 